Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this uh, file. It's a, just a picture of some fonts. And this would be cool. I've never really seen it. But if you go to DA Fonts, there are eight pages of fonts type like this. I just downloaded this one here. I downloaded one right well, there's the one I just downloaded. I downloaded this one. So I'm just going to show you. Now, this would take some time. I'm not going to tell you it's not. But this one's already done. It's uh, M-A-E-S-T-I-C-B, -E which I guess stands for bold, maybe. But if you had that letter and you break it apart and you left-click, right-click, you could weld in a kid's name or a person's name in there, and that's pretty cool itself. That's the only font I've ever really seen like that, but there's eight pages. You can look through it. It's a D D A font.com. It's a great site. Font, fonts are free. And But this one right here would be a good one. So what you need to do to do what, we did, I did this one. Now, if you had to do the old alphabet, uh, you'd be you'd be tired. And then go to an object and turn it into a convert curve because the text will not uh, weld or anything. Then go to object and break the curve apart. And then we need to split the letter, the letter right down the middle. I'm just gonna show you how I did the A. Um, I don't think the A would be any easier or harder than anything else but we're just gonna split this apart so we can draw a line through there. And for the one I'm doing it for, I, I turned your nudge factor or your duplicate distance onto zero. So this thing is three inches across. We're gonna make our nudge factor four and we're gonna make it, well, no, we're not gonna make a duplicate of it yet. We're gonna take a two point line and draw, and draw it through there and kind of move it down to the bottom, just as long as you're only through the center. Now we're gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and make a duplicate of it. And then I'm gonna take the virtual segment delete key and because you've turned it into a curve and it's not a text anymore, everything will delete and do the same thing on the bottom half. So now you've got two halves. I'm gonna change my nudge factor to like to 0.2. Well, Let's don't do that yet. Let's back up here. Let's bring these lines out of the way and select all of this. And while you got it selected, whoop, don't delete it. Nudge it over. And while you've got it selected, go like point two. You might have to reselect it. And then nudge it up a little bit. Now these lines, especially on the A, some of the letters might be different. Uh, you might want to change. Uh, that'd just be personal preference. You know, if you wanted to bring that line closer than that line, of course, you want to get rid of that node and then bring this line in, get rid of that node, get rid of that node, kind of make it look more realistic and then take a rectangle tool and you can make your rectangle as large as you wanted. Let's move it down a little bit. That's really a little bit thick. Let me zoom in here. Might be too long too, but for the video, it's good enough. That's pretty good. And then hit the plus key on your keyboard and with the control button, move it down. You want these lines inside there. Then take the virtual segment delete key and delete this line and this line and delete these little nubs that we left. I don't think that line is extended past to the other line. So just take your shape tool and just go like that. And then, well, I didn't have to do that because it, whoop, this line isn't far enough. Take that rectangle line and go like that. And then cut that line out and then take this nub and that nub. Then, with your nudge factor set on four, 
fill this in and move it over. Fill that in and move it over. Now you could always space them. Well, not with four. You could space them out further. But let's go ahead and get the rest of the text. Just I'm just nudging it over. Now I could have just deleted the lines. And some of these graphics aren't the best. I thought I had a font that was a little better, but it's really not. This would work. Now, if you want it a little bit bigger, you could go like 0.1, grab the whole thing and nudge it down a little bit. And then there'd be, or maybe even more, there'd be a room for a name in there. And when you do that, you would just, I'm guessing that's what he wants. So left click, right click, and then just type in a name. Um, uh, I'll use my name. But I want all caps because it make it easier. Make it the appropriate size. Left click, right click. I didn't have it checked. Left click, right click. And put it in there. We're a little bit tall. And there's a lot of times you could weld this. But it's sometimes it's just easier. Let's see if the weld works. I hate using the weld when I've got loose spots like this. But it worked. That worked pretty good. So then when you fill this in, that's what your graphic's going to look like. Then you don't have to nudge it over, just fill in everything. Now, like I said, if you had to do the whole alphabet, it'd be really time consuming. And then make sure you select it all. It right click, no outline. Pretty cool. Now this font up here is already ready to go. You know, with that font, um, this is actually called, it's M-A-E-S-T-I-C, -E -E uh, B, and it's DA fonts. And then you could just do the same thing. You'd probably want a larger, uh, better name than my name, but just give you an example. And, and all caps are going to make it easier uh, just because of the fact that you don't have any uh, parts of the letter that are going way down into it. I'm having a little trouble. Left clicking, no fill. Right clicking. And really, I should have had it converted to a curve to make the weld work. Well, let's see if the weld doesn't work on this. Nope. So convert that to a curve. And also, this is a text still. So let's convert it to a curve. That was what the problem was. Selected both, and let's try welding it. Wow, it worked. And then just... You know, you could try left-clicking, and it worked, and then right-click, no outline. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.